For the last few weeks in my free time, I've been trying to make add-ons that solve problems that I constantly run into in Blender. My focus for the last week has been cameras. I've decided to release this add-on for free. It's called Lens Cap. There'll be a link in the description where you can download that from my Gumroad page. It's completely free, but if you can afford to donate just a couple of dollars or something, I'd really appreciate it and it helps me to actually find the time to keep these things free for everybody else. There's also a flash sale on my Gumroad at the moment, so you might just want to check that out. You can get 40% off all my courses with the code FLASH until the 21st of this month. But let's talk about this add-on and how it actually works and what it can do for you. So the first setting that we have here is camera visibility. One problem I always run into in Blender is when I'm working on an animation and I have things which are set to disappear or reappear in the render settings, that isn't matched in the viewport. So let's say we pick this pot over here, cooking pot, and we want it visible until frame 40. And then frame 41, we're going to turn this off. And then say frame 80, it'll be still off. And frame 81, it'll be back on. Well, the problem is nothing happens in the viewport. If we render out the frame in the middle, it does disappear, but there's no way to visually see this very easily without checking which icons are changing in the outline. This is really difficult if you're working on scenes that have lots of objects disappearing. For instance, if you have walls blowing up and stuff like that, and you're swapping out a wall mesh for a blown up wall mesh, it can get very confusing very quickly. So now all we have to do is just click this sync camera visibility and you can see there it's disappeared and then it'll reappear when it should. The only thing to be aware of with this is this isn't really tied to the actual object visibility, which means if you turn it off in here, it will be off regardless. So you have to make sure that any objects that are going to be changing visibility, when you turn this on, make sure they're unhidden. Secondly, we have this depth of field finder. Now, one problem that I constantly have in Blender is that my cameras end up in some random collection. In this case, it's called camera. And I turn it off and now I've just lost the camera settings down here. I can't select the camera itself, which means I can't easily set up depth of field and things like that. So with this add on, even if the camera is disabled, you can turn on and off depth of field. We can put this to say 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 and we can put the mark down anywhere we want the 3D cursor just by holding shift and right clicking. And then we can set the distance of this depth of field to the 3D cursor. All right, so we can move it to there, or we can move it over to here. We can keyframe the f-stop, and what we can also do is keyframe the depth of field distance. So we can have it starting off over here, move forward a few frames, put it over to here, keyframe that, and now we've got a focus pull where the focus is gonna go from being on this pot to on this pot, and then you can do that again. We can do this over to here. And it's just a really quick way to set up depth of field changes without even having to access the camera settings itself. The third thing that this add-on can do at the moment is actually manage all the cameras in your scene if you have multiple. So let's say we add another camera. You can see the active camera is whichever one's on the top marked in blue. And we have a new camera here, which we've just added. So let's take a look at this one. So to view through this camera, we just make this active, right? We can put this camera over here. And we can also select between different cameras. So we can go keyframe this, move to a different camera, make this active, right? Which is this one and keyframe that. And now the viewport is gonna switch between these different camera views. And you can combine that with everything else to automatically change focus and stuff as well. This should update automatically. If it doesn't, there's a refresh button over here. But normally, if you delete a camera, it will automatically delete. And if you add a camera, it should automatically be added. So that's just about everything in a nutshell. They're just some handy little tools. The sync camera visibility, especially, I've been using all the time lately for the animations that I've been working on. Like I said, it's completely free, but I appreciate any little donation, even if it's like a, just a dollar or something like that. It all adds up when you have multiple people doing the same thing. 
And like I said, the flash sales on my Gumroad as well. You can see 40%. It's a big sale uh, using the code FLASH until the end of the 21st of March.